everybody, hello, good morning, good afternoon, it ain't morning, it's afternoon. We just got our trailer washed out. I can't see around that dang tree. It's actually, it's a tanker place, but yet they do uh, wash out reefers. 66 bucks, <laughs> but they did a good job. There's no blue beacons around this area. And if you got to get a trailer wash out, well, you know, you got to get it done, right? Guala. Q U A L A. Guala. I'm going to put their link. Down in, down in the description box, if you guys are in this area, and we're in, excuse me, we're in Charlotte, but if you happen to be in this area, and you need a, your reefer washed out, they'll do it. Real friendly people really friendly people and I want to thank them for washing it because now I can go pick up my load we got to go to Marsh Marshville Marshville something like that M-A-R S-H-V-I-L-L-E or something like that This is a rough track. <laughs> I come in here and this track bounced me all over the place. Ugh. Rough, rough. Nah, I had, uh, had that guy. Man, what's his name again? I gotta think. Shoot. I'm real bad with names. Leon. That's his name. I had Leon in here. And took him to Concord, North Carolina to where his truck was. He picked up a truck. Ended up being a real nice trip. I, I really enjoyed having his company. I was kind of sad when he was gone. Well, you know, just somebody to talked to. It wasn't on no telephone. But we're picking up, the load that we're picking up is going to Michigan. We're going to get that offloaded. That delivers on Thursday. And, uh, I don't know. From there, I think I'm going to deadhead home. I think I'm going to make the call and... I'm going to make the call and deadhead home, I think. I haven't been, actually, to my mom's house. And I was telling Scotty this, and, and even uh, Rudy, but... The last time, I, I mean, I really took a break. And I'm not saying a 34. A 34 is a break, yes, but 34 is a break in the truck, right? But I mean, a 34 break at home, at somebody's house, and I think the last time I took one was, what, the 4th of July? You guys remember that, I, I went to Scotty's house. Even though I slept in my truck, still the same, but I was actually at somebody's house. Well, I'm going to my mom's house this weekend. Ah, I just saw, see that sign, I don't know the GoPro, AMT Truck Wash, $30 tractor, 30 trailer, 30 washout, mobile 24 hours a day, 
seven what is that zero four four nine two nine two six five I don't know where that's at but I paid sixty six dollars for my trailer wash oh gee this looks tight looks really tight Ooh, that was close. <laughs> There's a big ditch there, boy. My outside tire was in that ditch. Only thing kept me from going all the way through that ditch was my inside tire. Wow. Well, we're 39 miles to our pickup. Says we'll be there at 6:38, and I got between 18 and 1900 hours. Uh, we'll be all right. Trailer's worse. I got the reefer on. I got it set for 10 below. They want it any warmer than that. It's it's easier to, you know, turn the uh, temperature up and let it fall than it is uh, to turn the reefer on and try to get it to cool off, right? So we got the reefer running. Another railroad track. It could be rough too. Just a little bit. Won't be a, be a long video today. Just can't do a shorty. Truck route to 85. You know what? We're going to do that. We're not going through the center. Rhonda tells me to go through the center, but I'm not doing that. We're going to go this way. Rhonda's got me going through the center, but... This might be the easiest way. Do I go straight or turn? I go straight. Or do... <laughs> well... I'm not going to do that. We're going to turn. Nothing beside us, so we can, we can do this. Yeah, I got it. I got it. Okay. Yeah. South or north, Rhonda? South or north, Rhonda? In a north. Take the entrance to the left on I-85 North. North. All right. Cars. In 900 feet, take the entrance to the left on I-85 North. Sometimes you gotta be a little rude. These four wheelers don't want you to come over. You gotta take charge. I would never deliberately hit anybody, but by doggy, yeah, I gotta let them know I mean business. Let me over. It's easier for you to turn that car around than it is that big truck. No telling how far you gotta go before you can actually turn around. Unless it's midnight, then you just whip her around in the road, right? <laughs> you didn't hear me say that, right? Oh, well. Go, big truck! Go through that light! He just went through that light. You see that? Holy crap, oh, he did. Went right through that. Busted right through. What is that? Rooms to go? Busted right through that red light. You think what he's got in there is important enough to have a collision with somebody? Well, there's a cop. Did you see that cop? I guess he didn't think it was all that important. What the hell am I to talk about it then? I didn't realize there was a cop there in that intersection. Huh. 
He did though, he busted right through that really. Oh well. People such in a big hurry. I'm in a hurry too. I gotta be where I gotta be before seven, but I don't make it, they just reschedule me, I don't care. I'd be dang if I'm gonna take somebody out. I don't like the paperwork too, I don't wanna go to jail. Not that I'm saying I would, but it is possible, right? Three, I got my little babies in here. I don't want to have a truck wreck. Get them hurt. What kind of p parent pet or pet parent would I be? That's it. And now we can go. We got a green light. We got a green arrow. No trucks, three or more in, well, let's say left two lane drain. Right? Seventy seven north. Twenty one south. Eight tenths of a mile. I think I should move over. I should move over. I should. That might be it right up here. Uh, this might not be it. Nope, 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 nope. One more. I thought that went all the way through, but it don't. Well, we can move over. In a quarter of a mile, keep to the right on I-77 North US 21 South, and then keep to the right at 800 feet. Yeah, yeah we got her. All right, Rhonda. Talk away there, buddy. In 700 feet, keep to the right on I-77 South US 21 South. All right. Good girl, Rhonda. Left lane turn, uh, left lane ends. All right, left lane ends. In 1.5 miles, take I-277 NC-16. Yeah, but still the same. I'll still give you guys the name and the number where I just had the trailer washed. And if you're a company driver, they probably know where for you to take it anyway. But if you're not and you're an owner operator, well, you got this to fall back on. 277 South, one mile. It looked like we got us a little bit of a traffic jam up here. Wonderful. Just wonderful. Now, I don't know, is this because of my exit? I'm less than a mile. Or is this because of a different exit? Uh, only if I can see ahead. Gee, now 
way is this lane This is only a right turn, one lane right turn, and the four left lanes over there are straight through traffic. And look what that lane beside me is doing, stopping. They don't want to get in the back. They just want to uh, cut in there, right? What they want to do. And that's what they're aiming to do. This ain't good. Six tenths of a mile. To Graham Street, to North Carolina Music Factory Boulevard. Huh. What they do there? Make CDs? Music instruments? Or I wonder what they make there. Has to do some something with music, right? Half a mile. So I'm guessing I gotta be in this lane. That's why I'm just holding back. We're in Charlotte, though. That's a fact. It's all crowded up. Look what this car's going to do. He's going to try to squeeze between me and that car. See that? Looky there. Looky there. <laughs> we almost saw an accident in front of us. Looky there. See whiz, man. We just about had the front seat, front row seat on that one. Yeah. What is that, a cop? That's a cop. Let's see how he's going to do. No, that's a medic. Sorry about that. That's a medic. Let's see how that medic pulls this off. He did it the right way. Good old Charlotte. Take I two seventy seven NC sixteen and then keep to the left at zero point three miles. Have a challenge for everybody. Can you name any town, city, village, anywhere in the United States that doesn't have a rush hour?
I've been to some little beady beady towns that of course, you know they weren't big enough to have a rush hour but but if you got one put it down in the comment below I'd like to know as a truck driver being out here on the road I sure see a lot of traffic jams rush hours bumper to bumpers Yeah, this this was our ramp. Also, all these cars that's over in that left, <laughs> that's the part we got to be on too. Watch that car. Watch that car. Boy, I tell you what. He didn't want to get in the back neither, did he? Lucky there. Yeah, just cut on in there, buddy. Smile, buddy. You'll be on YouTube. You'll be on YouTube. I doubt if he even notices. But he will be on YouTube. I ain't cutting nothing out. Not a thing. Are we going through town with this? This is what is this? Two seventy seven inner. Yeah, we're on the inner loop. Okay, we got to move over, people. Can't be in this lane. All right, here I come. Good, good job. Yeah, this is downtown, guys. It sure is. I see the buildings over there. Downtown. Take this. 1.2 miles stay over here in the left two lanes. So we're going to take this over to 74 East. Construction ahead. Speed limit ahead. That could be a bear by itself. That 74 East has got some traffic lights you have to deal with too. Oh, looky there. Oh, I thought that car broke down. <laughs> He's in a traveling lane. Left, yeah, exit to be to be to be to be what to be or something like that. To be, I was trying to make a funny out of that. Is she a good girl? Making sure I don't get lost. That's what we gotta do. Lucky there. We're coming to a stop. <sighs> More traffic. Continue on this oh. for 32 miles. Oh, 32 miles will be at our will be at our delivery or pickup. Not delivery, pickup. But first, we gotta get through all this mess.
more rush hour. We have to move over. Yes, we're going to have to move over. Let's see how long I got to have my turn single on for somebody to let me do that. But we do have to move over. Because this is going to be the third lane, and I can't be in this lane. Thank you there, Mr. Tow Truck. It was him that let me in. Thank you, buddy. I give him my four ways as a thank you. That was nice of him. And that tow truck driver let me in there. I wish I knew the name of his tow company. I would give him... Ooh, here comes a smoky bear. He's getting over there in the... Uh, what is that, the express lanes? There he goes. Now, see, if I had that bar light on this truck, I could probably go over there and just hammer down, right? Anyway, folks, let's get on over to our pickup. Pick up. Enough of Charlotte and enough about this traffic. We'll be right back. First way or reway? Uh, first way. Track number? 530. Come on in then. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's go get our weight. Alrighty. We are loaded. I just gotta go in. Get our ticket. We're in uh, Monroe, North Carolina, 13 miles from where we just loaded. Pull through the few island real quick. There ain't nobody in the few island. This is um. Proceed to the highlighted route. This ain't like your ordinary uh, truck stop. This is uh, I think it's an what is this? A BP? It's a BP. Oh, I don't know which way you go to actually come through, but I imagine the other side, the other way, yeah. I gotta know what my weight is. I know we're heavy, at least 40,000. Well, the paperwork says 40,000. But we gotta know for sure. I always said it's better to pay 1050 than get all nervous up whenever you hit a state scale, right? That's my opinion, anyway. In 400 feet, turn right on US 74. See, I feel heavy. I feel heavy on an axle. I can feel that. I'm going to go get it. Be right back. Alrighty. We're 32,000 on our drives, 33,000 on our trailer, 11,000 on our steers. We're heavy, but we're legal. I didn't have to fix anything, so. Now we're out of here. Let's get her on down the road, y'all. Well, guys, good morning. It is the next day. Yep. And uh, we're having our coffee. 
422, 430, somewhere in there last night or this morning, we actually, we stopped. And we're having our coffee this morning. Yeah. Good coffee. Huh. Watching a little bit of Ponderosa. Hi, guys. You know, everybody likes to see you guys. You know that? Pooh Bear, he laid down there on the floor. Yeah. We got little Panda. Little Jake. Yeah. Well, the deal is we're gonna... It's we, We've been in the bunk now for 8 hours and 35 minutes. And, uh... As soon as our 10 hour break is done, we're gonna get ready to go. We're actually gonna roll up there near Detroit area and make a delivery for 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. We're only eight hours away, so. You wanna look out? Oh, you wanna look out? <laughs> he loves looking out the window. Yes, he loves looking out the window. Here, you guys want my pillow? Can to help you guys lay down by the window? Watch out. Watch out. I'll give you my pillow. Watch out. Watch out. Look out. Look out. Okay, there you go. Now get up there. Now get up there. See? See, now you can lay down by the window. See? All right. But anyway, we got to put a video together. We didn't get it together this morning because I was tired. It wouldn't have done no good. Ten minutes in, into it and I would have been sleeping. So we're going to put it together now. So you guys can see this so we can start a new day so thank you for watching and we'll catch you guys later later <laughs>